Well, we spent a couple days hiking through Redwood National Park, and I have to say this park is so stunning, I found it difficult to really choose the right painting. But I finally decided on a place that was really close to our base camp. This composition provides for excellent opportunity for us to paint these beautiful redwoods and a nice little brown pathway that leads us through the forest. It will also provide us an opportunity to take a close look at some of the ferns and some of the foliage that's in this area. So without further ado, let's start painting. I'm going to take my palette and I'm going to squeeze up my three basic colors, cobalt blue, alizarin crimson, and cad yellow light. With these basic three colors, I'm going to form a gray, and that's what I'm going to use to start my sketch. The objective of this painting is to work with a lot of greens. Now we're working with a limited palette, so all three colors will actually form a gray. This gray will neutralize any of the green colors that we add later on in the painting. Now we wanted to add a little bit more red to this color, and there's a wonderful reddish tone to this pathway that leads into our forest. Since there's so much green in this painting, any opportunity to change the color to red will be welcomed. Now remember, we like to get our darks in first. It's a lot harder later on in the painting to get these wonderful transparent dark tones. That way you can kind of see the canvas through the dark tone and it creates a wonderful glow in these shadows. I'm also going to start laying some of the dark tones in my trees. And we do want to put in some of these branches. Now we're going to squeeze out some white onto our palette. What I'm going to do is mix some yellow and blue together with our base coat, which is that gray color. And we want a grayish green color to start painting the background trees. Now I'm mixing small amounts of paint as I go along. So when I have the right color, I want to be sure that I do add it in the background consistently so that the colors match. I'm going to take these trees right up and out of my composition. I don't want to create a forest that's even all the way across. Okay, now with the base color of our trees in, I'm actually going to start laying in the sky. And I'm going to do that with a palette knife. So what I'm mixing is cobalt blue in with my gray base color. And then just load up the knife by angling the knife and just pick up enough paint and lay it onto the canvas. Okay, now with our branches done, we're going to highlight the foliage here. Now this is our central focal area. So we want this to be absolutely the brightest color in our painting. And again with the fan brush, we're actually going to lay in the highlights, purposely bringing the light against my dark. Now I want to create the illusion that the light's coming into the forest at a diagonal angle. So I'm just going to highlight the center of the tree and slowly blend it in. And then what I want to do is I want to highlight this tree in the foreground, but at an angle to the highlight of this tree. So a little higher and bring it right out to the edge. This way it looks like a light beam is coming into my painting. Again, I'm just spending time training my eye so that I can remember what a forest looks like and the foliage and how the light dances throughout the canopy highlighting this wonderful place. And now with the highlights done, we're ready to sign the painting and conclude this wonderful day that we had at Redwood National Park.